Good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As we'll see there, there was a bit of a sell-off in the global markets yesterday, obviously on the Iraq worries and a, huge, a number of other fundamentals that have currently come out. But we are bouncing around the 21 period SMA on the US 30. Resistance is remaining intact at 69.69. And the next potential support for break below the 21 period SMA will be around about 16.738. So most global markets are, are, are down overnight. They're down again a little bit today. Uh, the UK 100 broke below that potential support at 6774 that we talked about yesterday. Um, the next level is going to be, the next potential level is going to be 6713. Though we have to get below the tip of this candle right here, so 6735. We are now trading below both moving averages and the technical indicators are slowly moving into a more negative area. So they're not yet oversold. Um, the MACD is crossing the zero line and ob obviously that is indicating a little bit more selling pressure there. So that's where we are with the UK 100, uh, which has actually been underperforming off days of late. So looking at the uh, Japan 225, we have been seeing a little bit of additional yen buying yesterday in safe haven. Uh, there's been uh, not just that, but also you had the Bank of Japan uh, came out with their uh, third arrow uh, strategy yesterday to kind of combat inflation over there, uh, trying not to do extra stimulus. And uh, that was kind of met with a very tepid, muted response. Uh, but nevertheless, the uh, Japan 25, 25 value you can see there was much far, farther bullish yesterday. Came off again, uh, just barely closing uh, in positive territory, and now we're kind of flatlining there again. So there's certainly pressure on this uh, on this um, index. We'll be looking around about 15.225 as potential support, uh, which would have broken resistance here. Uh, then followed by 49.77 if that yen strength continues. Um, looking at um, uh, dollar yen, in fact, what we are seeing here is a, a continuing flattening uh, as there are rumors of uh, dollar yen being quite well bid uh, above uh, 22.50 and below uh, 101 spot 50 as well. So uh, we are in a narrowing range. So there's a, apparently there's a whole bunch of stop losses uh, around about here and a whole bunch of stop losses just a little bit lower down. Um, so uh, 101 spot 35 is the potential support. Um, 102 spot 90 is a potential resistance, but what you cannot see is where all the stop orders are, and that's something that I read earlier on this morning uh, in some of the uh, press. So, moving on to West Texas crude, it's been very volatile. <laughs> it already uh, this morning touched uh, 107 spot 86 uh, as the uh, rat crisis continues to intensify. Uh, there are now US um, advisors on the ground with the Iraqi forces, um, but now there are um, more uh, advances made by ISIS and the Sunni militants against um, an air base near Baghdad, only about 30 kilometers away from Baghdad. That's caused a huge spike, um, but then it sold off again. So there's uh, definitely a lot of volatility to be expected on West, Te West Texas crude over the next couple of sessions. So looking at gold, gold came off a little bit there yesterday, but interestingly bounced off this dotted line that we've had there drawn on of this potential symmetrical triangle formation. So it does look to be around about 1310 as potential support. Potential resistance remains at 1332. Um, and uh, you know, th this range is gonna get narrower and narrower as we go along. So it'll have to break out in one direction or the other. So moving on to Euro dollar, and really what I wanna talk about is GBP USD, but let's move on to this first. Euro dollar has got a slow grind higher um, and uh, potential resistance is at one spot, 36.45. Um, we do have some US data today as Wednesday. Um, so we, I think we've got the GDP figures and the bank and the um, crude oil inventory figures. So crude oil is going to be quite important for that. If we do see it, any drift, expect potential support to be at one spot, 35.68. So GBP USD just got absolutely smashed yesterday in the back of Kearney's comments. Um, considering he was so bullish just a few days ago to come out and say actually we're not going to raise rates in 2014, we need a little bit more slack, wages aren't rising fast enough uh, as, as we'd like. Uh, the, kind of the, the trend now kind of turned on GBP USD. Uh, quite a negative day yesterday, another negative day again uh, uh, today. Obviously this was the, the announcement right here, so we're actually still well above uh, when Kearney last spoke to give his viewpoints on uh, GBP USD. I don't think we're going to break above one spot 7048 over the next couple of sessions anyway. Next potential support is at one spot 69.23 and it's trending down a little bit this morning. We're already at the bottom of today's range uh, and we're getting, we've actually got sell signals here in the RSI. So it's fantastic and we've almost got a crossover on the MACD. So from a technical analysis perspective, things aren't that great. Um, oh, not jobless claims today, uh, it's going to the 25th. Uh, GDP due at 130 if you're a cable trader. That's going to be an important one to set your alarm for. And obviously, if you're a crude oil trader, 
you want to know about crude oil inventories when they c come out there as well. Fast forwarding on to Thursday, uh, we do have those US jobless claims, which is pretty much the only data coming out. And then on Friday, you've got UK GDP, Eurozone consumer confidence. I don't really put that much stock in the uh, uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment, but people will be looking at it anyway uh, to finish off the week. And just keep your eye on the, on the news about Iraq and Ukraine. Follow the chart forum. Make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.